Hello okay, no. everybody, once again, thanks for choosing to watch SK Beat Records. My name is Samson, but you can call me SK Beat Records. Yes, today I'm here with another um, guest on SK Beat exclusive interview. Yeah, her name is Gifty Sapon. She was no, she was recently crowned as the Miss Metropolitan Kumase. You can also call her the City Kumase City Queen. Yes, she's going to tell us more about herself. We're also going to get to know more about her experiences so far when she entered the pageantry. Yes, but before we begin the interview, I want to say a big shout out to Apostle Paul Kofi Ajakum. Yes, I want to also say a big thank you for to PIWC Asokwa Ben Engineer for making it um, possible for me to have this place for my interview. Yes, so let's go for a commercial break and we will be right back. Yes, so welcome back to Escapeet exclusive interview. Like I said before, my guest for today is a female, stunning, wonderful, beautiful lady. Um, you can call her the Kumasi City Queen. And her name, like I said before, Gifty Sapon. Gifty Sapon. How are you doing? Oh, actually, I'm good. I'm doing marvelously well. Oh, amazing. <laughs> the Queen, Kumasi City Queen. <laughs> Okay, so give this up on before we begin the interview. Yeah, I want you to um, just within some few seconds, you can drink the malt okay. to chill and relax <laughs> yourself, you know. Thank you. It's also very necessary. Yes. So, to begin with, um, tell us about yourself. Who is Gifty Sapon? For me, I know you are a queen. Well, and what else should we know about you? <laughs> okay, thank you. Gift Sapon okay. is an SHS graduate okay. looking forward to further my nursing education. Okay. I'm also into makeup artistry, which means I, I've been doing personal makeups in the house. Okay. I also do sell ladies and men's wear in the house okay. as I'm waiting for it to further on my nursing level education. Okay. Yeah. Wow, amazing yeah so um tell us um you you were not recently crowned as the kumasi city queen sure. miss metropolitan <laughs> kma yeah exactly. i read your an article that was written about you on i think was it um graphic showbiz, graphic showbiz yes graphic yeah. showbiz. first of all i just want to congrat congratulate you thank yes. you so share with <laughs> us the experience when you went through the pageantry okay um let me say, um, when I went into the pageantry, okay. it started at the regional level. Okay. So we started with voting. But before I entered into the pageantry, okay. Miss Metro pageantry, okay. I had a lot of challenges because okay. in some ways, some people were discouraging me that, okay. oh, why are you going into this pageantry? Why don't you find something to do? It. And I was like, no, let me try. Though I wasn't having any passion into entering into pageantry, pageantry. Okay. but then I went ahead. I'm kind of person that I don't easily give up. Okay. When I decide to do something, okay. I just make up my mind and do it. So I had the enthusiasm to enter into the pageantry and to god be the glory god be so good when i entered into the pageantry it really helped me a lot because it gave me the chance to have an encounter with certain people somebody like the Accra mayor um our multi-talented actress who is nana mama brown in fact i i, I got in, in in touch with a lot of people okay you saw and her in person 
Oh, yeah, sure. Able to speak to <laughs> I saw her in person. Uh, um, to we her. took pictures, pictures with okay. her. Okay. We took pictures with her. That was at Cheesy Pizza. Okay. At Cheesy Pizza. And Miss Metropolitan Ghana has really helped me a lot. Okay. So it has made me like. Um, I don't know the kind of words to use, but then it's like the vision I had that okay. no, let me further on, let me go ahead and then try and see has really helped me because I've come to know certain things and then I've come to also get in touch with certain people okay. of which when I wasn't into Miss Metropolitan Ghana, I couldn't get in touch with. Okay. Let me talk about this one. About the voting, it's like it got to a point that um, our hope was was lost. Mm -hmm. Like because I was like, who are the people going to vote for me? I, where, where the contestants were you plenty? Were you many? Actually, How many we were, were you? sixteen in number. Sixteen in number. Yes. The whole Ghana. Oh. Yes. It's like this. We took. Um, we took it from six regions. Okay. That's Cape Coast, okay. Temale, Tema, Akka, uh, Kumasi. Kumasi. Okay. Yes. And then that was where the regional level started from. Okay. Yes. And three contestants were selected from each region. Okay. To, so at the cause of the voting, hope was gone. Because I was like, who is going to vote for me? But to God be the glory my sister Maya, who is outside ghana okay. she she told me gifty just go ahead i'm going to support you i'm going to be at your back no worries and also i also <laughs> thank my old students old students of jachi pram so senior high okay. of which i completed okay. they also really did marvelously well because they also helped in the voting. That was the challenge I was having, to be honest, was about the voting, but then they really did their best at the regional level. Okay, wow, wonderful. That's amazing. So you completed Jache? Yes, Jache okay, Pramso Senior Jache. High. Okay, which year? 2017. 2017, yes, wonderful. Please. <laughs> so after you completed, um, aside from the pageantry, which you got yourself involved, what else have you been doing? As I, 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 I made mention of that earlier, yeah. that I also sell ladies and men's wear okay. in years, and I also do makeups, I mean, to makeup artistry. Yeah, wow, so that's amazing, what I do. Amazing. So, right now, you are crowned as this Kumasi City Queen. Um, what are some of the um, projects that you are about to embark on? Because definitely, um, being crowned as Kumasi City Queen, you should have something that you want to do to help your city or to help exactly, your region. Exactly, exactly. To me, I was having the passion to be a philanthropist. Okay. And Miss Metropolitan Ghana is one kind of pageant which works under the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 6, okay. which is clean water and sanitation. Okay. And based on our theme for these years, pageant it was the role of a Ghanaian woman in fighting COVID-19 so our main project is to embark on educating and also helping promote the necessity okay. for each and everyone to observe the COVID-19 protocol so our okay. main aim and project is to focus on the COVID-19 and okay. also as to help in promoting a cleaner environment and wow. a cleaner water amazing as captured amazing. in un go six amazing so when you became um, the Kumasi city queen when you were crowned as the miss metropolitan um, kma um, as noted yeah what how, how how was your excitement like personally and how your family i i um, how did your family take it okay <laughs> Actually, when I was crowned the Kumasi City Queen, um, it, it paved way for me in such a way that my friends who were discouraging me, they later came closer to me. Let me say, the day I was crowned the National Queen, 
I started receiving calls and messages from my people congratulating mm -hmm. me. So even those who were not in, let's say, in support of it, those who wanted to pull me down, they later came back and then they were encouraging me. Even some wished to get closer to me. Some mm -hmm. wished to get closer to me. And also, my families were much happy, especially with my mom and my dad. Okay. My sister Maya, sister Maya, was also much happy for me. Let me say, in fact, it was it, it was a marvelous thing to the family. Wow. An exciting yes. one. Yeah. Wow. Amazing, amazing. So, um, and I've got to know about yourself. Um, you completed Jache, and also you told us about what you've been doing aside from the pageantry. Is there any support that you, you wish to get from any personality or someone? Definitely, I know being a regional miss, yeah, you would say that maybe you want the original MP or yeah, something to... Okay, mm -hmm. actually, let me say to God, God being so good, mm -hmm. I'm related to Honorable Simon St. Mensah, who mm -hmm. is the... Ashanti Regional Minister. And as we embark on this project, um, I would be much happy if he can be in support of it, if he can support us, push this um, project far. I would be much happy wow. about that. Amazing. And since I'm also the Kumasi City Queen, I will also be much happy if the Kumasi Mayor Okay. also helps and supports with the Amazing. vision. Wow. Whoever is watching this, um, this exclusive interview with SKB Records and my guest today is Miss Gifty Sapon who recently was crowned as the Miss Metropolitan KMA or Miss Metropolitan Kumasi. You can also call her the Kumasi City Queen. When was the um, what was the program? When was the program? The pageantry. Okay, the as I earlier said, mm -hmm. the pageantry started with the regional level, mm -hmm. which was in after the audition in July. It started Last in year, August. Last July or this year? This year, July. July. Okay. And then it started in August with the regional level. Okay. So the whole national level took place at the new Accra Metropolitan. Assembly Conference, so, which was held on the 4th of October, okay. 2020. Okay, wow, amazing. And um, well, with the COVID-19, then that means it was after the lockdown? Yes, sure, after, after the, lockdown. the lockdown. Okay, and were you scared entering into a pageantry house? Um, we, we were still in the COVID-19 era. Okay, what I can say is that I wasn't afraid because SKB Miss Noble, Miss Noble, Miss Noble, Beauty Pageant, Miss Noble, Miss Noble, Miss Noble, Beauty Pageant. Put your hands in the air if you believe in African beauty. Yeah, yeah. Miss Noble, yeah. yeah. Put your hands in the air. African beauty, yeah. It's a beauty pageant. Miss Noble, yeah. The pretty queens, yeah. They've got what it takes to taste to shine. Can give them support. It's all about Africa. Women, women, our ladies. Miss Metropolitan Ghana really adhere to COVID-19 protocol. So that that one didn't even scare me okay. because we had a audition and since they were putting the COVID-19 protocol rules in place, I didn't have any fear in that. Okay. okay. So f right from the pageantry, um, definitely um, in country, be on my now Was there any person here? Because uh, um, okay, I know that definitely they were judges, right? Sure, they were judges. Okay, so with the judges, I don't know their names, but how many were they? The judges were, I think, four, in, four. Number. Okay. Yeah, okay. four in number. 
Okay, so share with us some of the experiences we had with them when they were um, auditioning you or doing the, um, the contest. Okay, actually... Were there some challenges you had with some of them? Some okay. of the questions? We didn't know any of the judges. Okay. We didn't know any of them. So to them, <coughs> we didn't, I, I personally didn't have any problem with any of the judges. Okay. And same as to my other queens, they didn't have any problem with any of the judges since we didn't know them. Okay. We didn't know them. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So growing up, growing up as a lady, like growing up from your childhood until now, yeah. Okay, let, let's say that growing up, yeah, what, what, what are some of the things that you aspire that you would become? Okay. Or some of the things that you aspire to become? Our person, that you know, say, um, alongside your career, whatever you want to be. Okay. Definitely, I know being a Miss Queen or a Miss City Queen isn't, yes. wasn't really something you. Okay. Or childhood now, you know, say, <laughs> oh, you know, and now someone that I say one day you become. Miss Malaika, oh. Miss Gan, Miss okay. Gan, Miss Ghana, most beautiful. Something. Like that. Did you ever have that kind of? Okay. Before I come back to that question, let me talk about the judges okay. Um, okay. again. Okay. I think we got to know them. I think few weeks to uh grand finale, we okay. got to know their pictures, and then our CEO talked to us about them. Okay. But having one on one personal session. section with them no okay. because like they were playing about everything so back to what you are asking since my childhood i wanted to be a medical doctor okay but <laughs> as i was growing up um because of the love and the passion i had for children i okay. wanted to be a midwife okay. aside that i want to be a motivator, team counselor, a philanthropist. Okay. And I also got myself into Miss Metropolitan. And I got to know Miss Metropolitan through one Kumasi City Queen okay. who was crowned, that was 2018. That's okay. Quintiwa, Scholastical okay. in St. Tiwa, Quintiwa. Okay. I got to know Miss Metropolitan through her. Okay. So, when I got myself into Miss Metropolitan, I saw that, oh, with me being a philanthropist, I think this one can help me do that. Because since I launched my project and then I focus on the projects, I can also go ahead with that. Mm -hmm. And also whatever I have purposed in my mind, I can also do that. Wow. Yes. Wonderful. And I think... I also had the courage and then I was much privileged that through this pageantry yeah. I can also be able to talk to the teens, counsel the teens okay. since I'm sure I might be invited to youth programs and not yeah. only youth programs to yeah. to other programs too. Yeah. So, so you, you mentioned that you 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 were you want to be a midwife. Is, is that yes. passion still there or is that then i still have that you passion have. so yes. you would pursue my it. career as mm. well okay. to that's be wonderful. a midwife that's wonderful that's wonderful all right so um let's see um once again you're watching skbeat exclusive interview my guest today is the kumasi city queen her name is gifty sapon and she's telling us a lot about herself you and i are witnessing what she is sharing that's that she's trying to she's pouring her heart out to let us know more about herself and also about the pageantry that she got herself into which uh, so so far i can say that when you went into when you went into the pageantry and um, share with us some of the things that um as through the pageantry you've been able to improve upon okay <laughs> Actually, I, I would say that um, I was kind of person, though since my childhood, I was involving myself into choreography okay. at church and other stuff. But though 
I wasn't having much courage. But then since I got into Miss Metropolitan Ghana and then they took us on tour. We went to so much places. A place like GH Media. When we went there, they were having this um kind of they were having a program and imagine me standing in front of this huge crowd mm -hmm. that one alone gave me the courage so i've been mm -hmm. able to have to much courage, courage standing in front of audience or in front of Amazing. crowd yes. very soon ghanaians we are about to vote in december yes and right now you are the commerce city queen yes so what message message you have for your people in kumasi <laughs> Definitely, you must have a message to promote peace. Sure. Yes. Sure. Um, what I can say is that since I'm the Kumasi City Queen, I will encourage my people, the Kumasi people, that as we are entering into election year on the day before and then after election, we should continue obeying COVID-19 protocols because COVID is real and it still exists and also I will encourage them to also maintain peace wherever that they are after voting, after doing everything, just go back home safely. Wonderful. And also, I don't know if you've heard of the Nigerian um, police brutality um, protest that they are having. SARS. Yeah. Do you have um, any friend from Nigeria? Yeah, okay. let me see my, um, my sister that I, um, I've been talking about, yeah. Maya, okay. who is in London now. Okay. Her mom got married to a Nigerian, so okay. I would say she is a Nigerian, okay. though not biological, but okay. family side, family okay. friend. And she is a Nigerian, but okay. for her, she's not in Nigeria right now, she's in London. London okay. Yeah, so she's the person that i know okay. for now okay so um with what is happening in nigeria what message have you what if i'm um, you have to give you given a platform to give them a message and i don't know have you followed that story about oh, the answers yes answers yeah. now what message have you to give to the people from nigeria whoever is watching who is a nigerian oh okay what i can say is especially to my sister she 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 is like she was in pain because i was having a whatsapp chat with her she was in pain and then, since her family that day but then what i can tell her is that she should be at peace she should let her heart be at peace and she shouldn't be afraid and then continue praying we trust god that things will come back to normal sure sure wonderful people thanks for choosing to watch skb records thanks for choosing to watch skb tv my name is samson but you can call me skb skb Yes, so thanks for choosing to watch SK Beat Records. My name is Samson, my can call me SK Beat Records. My guest for today was Miss Gifty Sapo. Yes, so Gifty, um, any last message or any last words you want to share? Or is there anything that you want to also add to our discussion? Uh, yeah, actually, what I can also say is that since um, I'm Kumasi City Queen, okay. I would encourage Kumasi people to continue adhering to COVID-19 protocols. COVID-19 is real. It's still in existence. And then as, we, as I'm talking right now, the, the rate at which people have been affected negatively 
by COVID-19 has really increased in other countries as well. And some are, I think some are also experiencing a lockdown as I'm talking to you right now again. So Kumase, what I can say is that let's continue observing COVID-19 protocols and also let's keep our environment and then our water bodies clean since it also contributes to our hygiene as I said earlier. And what I can add again is that God bless my CEO, Mr. Dennis Kengla, for a charity, Emmy Hill Battles, who is the general manager, and their team, their team for such a good work done, for them organizing such a, an educative pageant. And then I can say that they should go ahead with that. Yes. That's what I can say. And Amazing. I think lastly, I want to say a big thank you to you, Escabit's uh, Records. Escabit's Records, yeah. <laughs> records yeah. for such a great and yeah. wonderful time yeah. for giving me such an opportunity yeah, to welcome. also talk about this. God bless my family, my mom, my dad, sister, my Quincy, wherever you are. God bless you. God bless everyone. Team of Miss Metropolitan Ghana. All oh my kids. Um, God bless everyone. God bless everyone. God bless you. God bless you so much for watching this exclusive interview. My guest, like I said, was Gifty Sapo. And we are blessed to have her. Yeah, she's the new, newly Miss Metropolitan KMA. Uh, Pussy enough from <laughs> <laughs> enough yes. from dear. So before she was, she was entering the pageant trail before she became the queen. I already knew her. Yes, I already knew her. Yes. So thank you so much for watching this wonderful exclusive interview. In case you have any comments you want to share, you can um, let me know. You can type it beneath the video as well as do what to like and furthermore do what to share with others yes it's a scabit exclusive interviews and i bring it um, most of it once or twice within a month yes so do well to show some love yes my name like i said is scabit records on instagram scabit ajukum samson on facebook and my second channel is scabit records films and this is the main one scabit record but then it's also scabit television yes so, Gifty, would you say goodbye to my people and your people? <laughs> All right. Um, thank you for such an opportunity. I'm much honored. And what I can say is that bye-bye to everyone. Bye. And then keep watching. Yes. Bye-bye. 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 Mortar, mortar, mortar. <laughs> <laughs>